What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are back with a LEGO Batman movie, and this time it is on the Bane Toxic Truck Attack. This set retails for $49.99 in the United States, and it comes with 366 pieces. The set also comes with three minifigures being Bane, the Mutant Leader, and Batman. On the front you can just see what comes in the set, obviously the Toxic Truck, and then on the back of the box, it shows off some of the features of the set. But now let's open this up. The Bane Toxic Truck Attack set comes with three different builds. One being a Bane's truck, the other being a sort of like mini helicopter build for Batman, and the other is just a kind of small little like side structure that comes with a few toxic containers. But let's take a look at Bane's truck. Bane's toxic truck has a lot of cool little small details going on. Now first off I've got to say, this does use a lot of stickers. And this can be shown in quite a few areas. Uh, one of my favorite stickers is actually a little kind of like flag piece that they've used which is on both of the sides and then they've also got some other small little detailings going around on the sets now of course another interesting feature of the set is the toxic container this can actually be removed so you just have this however this also has another feature to it you press down on this toxic container there's actually a little bit of suspension here so it's kind of like it's doing a wheelie so I mean that's pretty cool it's just very simple kind of thing going on there um, very nice though uh, good good feature um, that works very well very cool feature I, I like it a lot and then there is also the cannon now the only issue I'm gonna say with the cannon is there is a little bit of limited range, you can get more range uh, with the cannon going up. Uh, you can't get more range going down, it doesn't move side to side, which is uh, just a little bit of an issue. Um, but otherwise, I mean, it works fine. Uh, you can fire them, of course. And I've got to say, another thing I do like is the fact that there are two different blasters on this. We've got a kind of a bullet along with just um, toxic. And of course, it comes with extra studs, and it also comes with three extra bullets, which is pretty cool. I also do like the use of the magnifying glass, which has the little um, aim printed on there. Very nice little detail. But that's really it for the exterior of the truck. The inside, not a lot happening in here. However, there is a steering wheel inside, which is where the mutant leader goes and these studs these uh, studs in the uh, gray is actually where Bane will attach so he actually stands up and that's actually very cool he actually uses the gun which is very cool to see this set also comes with a container that has you know toxic obviously and uh, there's a little feature with this you just press down and it just flies open and this just simply works because they've got an attachment here and it pushes up simply all you gotta do is just place this in this actually has a uh, no real connection so you just place it in and then you also place the tox skin and it flies off however it is a little bit weak so you can knock it over but um overall very cool little small build and of course, they add a little bit of details, and it actually has a sticker on here, which says Ace Chemicals. But other than that, nice little small kind of detailing. A uh, very nice little small build that they've got here. Alright, taking a look at Batman's little small helicopter thing, I've got to say, I mean, I don't really like this. You can't even really spin it. you got to be, like, really careful, or else it's going to fall over. Um, I don't... I appreciate this, but, uh, no snow the only good thing is it's got a little little holder piece for the 
better ring, but you still gotta hold one for some reason. So, you know, that's good. And also, you can just easily, like, just flick this thing over. And Batman really isn't even that well placed in here because there's only two studs for him to sit. So, I mean, just, I don't really like this, but it's better than nothing. This set comes with two minifigures. One being Batman and one being the Mutant Leader. Now Batman, nothing really special with him. I mean, he comes in basically uh, most of the Batman sets with an exception of I think one or two. But, um, you know, very simple generic figure that we've seen a lot. However, the Bane Mutant, I'm pretty sure, is an exclusive to just uh, this set, at least for the Batman movie sets. I'm not sure if he came out in any other set, but um, I've gotta say, I do like his look. A lot of detailing going on. Um, you can see he's got um, some abs printed out there. He also has um, some, I think it's like a, a bracelet or something on his arm. Just cool little detailing. My only kind of thing is uh, he, he only has one face, so kind of kind of stinks a little bit. Uh, Batman does have two faces, um, but overall, I mean, I gotta say, out of this set, uh, I think the Mutant Leader is definitely my favorite out of these two minifigures. All right, here is our one big figure of this set. So for all of you that were triggered that I didn't mention him in the minifigure section, well, here you go, here he is. Um, if you guys commented, uh, that would be embarrassing. But uh, anyways, here he is. I gotta say, very cool figure. I quite like him a lot. A lot happening here. The back, he's got a little kind of brick built thing. And what this, I, at least in my opinion, is supposed to resemble is kind of toxic powers and where they come from. And I like how they've done this because what you can do is you can actually like take this off of him and boom, he loses his powers. So I think that's kind of a cool thing that uh, you've got going here. Very appreciated, um, very cool. My only issue is the tubes are a little bit too short. Um, it doesn't affect the arms, but very, very tricky to get them in. And uh, that's my only complaint I'm going to say that I have with the whole little small built structure. The big fig, very well done. I very much appreciate this figure. Very good job by LEGO with this uh, figure. Alright, overall, I've got to say, I really like this set. However, there is one big issue with this set, and it's going to be the price. For $50, it's a little hard to say if it's worth it or not. I think the set, play-wise, definitely worth it. Very good for children. Very good to get as a gift. However, for those mockers or adult fans out there who don't want this set just to play with, uh, and they really just want it for the figures, well, it's kind of hard to justify it because it only comes with 366 pieces, which is really, really not a good price. I, uh, this set personally, I like it, but um, the price I I would have preferred to have seen this at forty dollars. Uh, so. It's just a, just a little iffy thing right there. Um, for those of you that want to wait on this and don't want to pay full price, I mean, 20% is going to get this set to $40, and 20% is a very common markdown. So it's not too awful that it's uh, only $50, but in general, the price I do not like. The set, however, very good job by LEGO. I've got to say, this set, fantastic for kids, a very good gift. The minifigure selection, I think it's appropriate. I uh, would have liked to see more figures, especially because it's $50. However, I think the figure selection is fine. My only complaint with the set is the little Batcopter thingy mabob that they threw in there. But, um, I mean, at least it's there. Uh, it doesn't hurt LEGO for trying it. And it's not like it's a main build or anything. It's just something extra they threw in there. So, I mean, I can't really hate on the set just because of that. But overall, I've got to say, I like this set, the price is not my favorite, but I would recommend this for children or uh, a parent wanting to buy someone a gift or wanting to buy their son this for a birthday or maybe Christmas time depending on when you're watching this video. But that's just my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you disagree or agree with my thoughts, make sure to tell me in the comment section below. But until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.